nice like vlogging with someone around my height. <laughs> it like makes my life easier. <laughs> you know, because then I'm like. <laughs> Does anyone here remember the photos of me in front of these rainbows? Please let me know. I feel like I'm cheating. <laughs> I want that one. This is Razzle. Razzle. <laughs> She's what is overstimulated. She? Yeah, oh, very you. <laughs> <laughs> What's her name again? Catalina. Catalina. Oh, and this is Anakin. Also, I wonder if we can call him Anakitten. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> this one looks like my booby baby, so this is my favorite. Cats that look like what? <laughs> Boo boo. <laughs> my cat. I called that. <laughs> Hi, baby. I think you want this one. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, hello. I realized I have not filmed by myself in a second, so I thought I would do that. Kind of like just left some plot points hanging in my life. Hello my people, hi. Oh my God. I had insomnia really bad the last vlog and kind of fixed it. I am now taking trazodone, which really works, but it makes my mouth really dry and I weirdly need to drink more water than like a lot of people and my whole mouth has just been in pain. I actually like had a really scary moment last night where I drank so much water that I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> I have really bad health anxiety and I started freaking out. That's a pretty fun, relaxing, beautiful update for all of you. Hope you enjoyed that. I really have to make my bed, like clean my life out. You know, I talk about mental health a lot on my page. Some of you might think this is oversharing. I don't really care. I have not been sleeping because of anxiety. Like I had just a lot of anxiety at once. I decided to go back on SSRIs. This is like just for relatability purposes, me bringing up medications, but like, please talk to a doctor first. I'm not a doctor and what works for one person is not gonna work for another person. I was on Prozac. It was when I started recovering from my eating disorder because it's actually also used to treat bulimia, which Sometimes you just kind of go from one eating disorder to the next. It was 2020, it was four years ago. I'm a completely different person now. I know he does this when he wants to attend. This cat, I swear. I only tried out one SSRI in my life and I went off of it after two years and I was on like the lowest amount. So I was just kind of like, I think I should stop <laughs> raw dogging life. I'm too mentally ill for this and maybe my friends shouldn't be my therapists. Anyways, long story short, I am back on SSRIs. I'm trying a different one, Lexapro. The symptoms have been a little annoying. Like every time I take it, I'm super nauseous. That's been fun and different and new, but I've just been, oh my gosh, like just exhausted from all these like new medications. And so I'm trying to like be nice to myself. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Hello. We have something important to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I have a really bad migraine right now. It's a little hard to make sentences, so I apologize. I went on a second date and I feel like I have to date someone that's queer. Mm -hmm. Like this guy was really nice, but like. This person could be attractive and nice and perfect, but like, there's just like something that's missing if they don't also have that queer experience, I think. Tell it's... in the comments what your thoughts on that are, and, <laughs> like when you're dating. <laughs> wow, come on, YouTuber. I know, you're teaching me. I'm, I'm also trying to alleviate you talking too much since you have a migraine. I appreciate it. 
But yeah, sound off in the comments. Sound, I will <laughs> sound off. Wow, I need to start using that. If you're queer, sound off in the comments about what your thoughts are on dating non-queer people and like what have you felt to be the best way to date. I have been attracted to bisexual men and trans men. And it's not that I'm not seeing them as men, but they just have a queer experience right. is the difference. You just want someone who's queer. Exactly. I don't know like what sexuality that makes me. I'm sure there's a word. There's, there's gotta for be a word. If there's a term for it, let us know. Please let us know. You should only date who you are attracted to. It's like emotionally, physically. I think I could be physically attracted to anyone, but like if there is not that personality attraction to someone, I physically don't want to be with them. We were kind of talking about it. I feel like you just know within one or two times of meeting someone, like we, I was even talking about how like with my friendships, my closest friends, when we met at first, we just like got along. Like there was something, yeah. <laughs> something. There was something and then they were roommates. <laughs> yes, and then I canceled on you. Well, let's talk about that. Yeah, so <laughs> can I tell a story? Wait, yes. Yeah, I made a post that a friend of mine put on his story and that friend is someone that Jesse follows. And so she saw it and I guess from that <laughs> post, she followed me and like, that's how we just met. Then I think you put my post on your story. I replied to it and then you're like, oh my God, we should get coffee. And I was like, oh my God, yeah, like when are you free? And then like you said, okay, either like Thursday or Friday that week. So I said, okay, Thursday and like Thursday in the morning. And then you didn't answer for days. Thursday had passed already. And then you messaged me like, oh my god, sorry, I'm like, I wasn't really on my DMs. And then I was a little pissed. I waited like eight, nine days. And I was like, hey, sorry, I'm not to your DMs. <laughs> you I was deliberate? Like, I, 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 I was like, I, I was, was like. Was it actually deliberate? Like you were actually mad? Yeah, I was like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, and then and then I texted like saying sorry, I didn't respond immediately. I was just like a little sad that we couldn't meet up. <laughs> Wait, I remember I saw the DM. I was like, oh, she's like a little mad at me. Because <laughs> <laughs> I had like planned to do it that day. I feel like I've matured since oh, yeah. then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like at the time. I think we both have. I was 22 and I was just, was all over the place. I don't know. I was like such a mess. I feel bad for people that like haven't met me since I was 18. Cause like, I just think about how I was like such a mess and maybe not always the best friend, you know? Like mm. not in like a, not in like a mean way. In like ways like that, where I just was like such a mess with timing. Like, but also like, we haven't even met before. So it's like fine. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like don't look back into so it. <laughs> like it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> like, I promise it's fine. <laughs> Guys, one thing about Jessie having migraines is that if you make her laugh, she'll like forget it. She'll like forget about it for a second. That is true. I'm like mm -hmm. good at living with pain. <laughs> That's so bad. This is like so cursed, like after a date. All right, I'm gonna take my makeup off. Bye. Hello, I'm sorry if this vlog has been a little all over the place. It's because I've been all over the place. <laughs> Just starting new medications while documenting your life, it's kind of hard. I bought an espresso machine and I have been using that so much that look, I have all of these pods to recycle. No spawn here. Nespresso, if you're watching this, I'm obsessed with you. I love you guys so much. You've saved me a lot of money. So love that. I finished the third Akatar book yesterday. A Court of Wings and Ruin. It was like the final war. There was death and rebirth and powers emerging and yada yada, which was fun. I'm gonna say something really controversial, guys. I do not like smut. I'm the most sex positive liberal person I know, but I don't care for sex scenes in books. I love enemies to lovers. I love slow burn. I love pining for each other. I love the lead up, but I like actually get the ick. I'm like, oh my God, I do not want to hear a character describe it. I don't. I can't take it seriously. Okay, maybe that's the way I should word it. I think it's funny and unserious. A friend could tell me the most vulgar, intense things about their own personal, intimate lives, and I'm like, I am there to listen. I have no judgment at all. I have been on multiple sex podcasts. I just can't read it. I think it's so cringy. Not against any author. Like, it could literally be Shakespeare, and I'll still think it's like, I'm like, uh. Okay. Listen, I am so happy for the people that enjoy it. Like, I am so happy for you. Get, get with it. Good for you. There is content out there for you. Maybe it's like the middle school boy in me where it's like, haha, we're reading chapter 69 in school. Honestly, maybe it has to be like a gay sex scene. Maybe then I'll enjoy it. <laughs> 
Anyways, I'm gonna go recycle my Nespresso pods. And then I haven't bought clothes where I go and I try them on in a while. I feel like since I've gained weight, I like to find clothes that like accentuate certain parts of my body. Trying on clothes is something that helps me a lot. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I will be back. It's later, it's like seven. I tried on clothes. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't feeling the best about myself. Still did it. There's only one thing I really wanna show you guys. I have really shopped at Forever 21 in a long time. I haven't even like shopped at the mall. Forever 21 reminds me of middle school, which can be good and bad, but you know, I'm trying to rewrite my traumas. Am I crazy or are they so cute? And they're like holographic. You know how like Sabrina Carpenter will wear shoes and people are like, those are Polly Pocket shoes. I'm obsessed. I will say today was the first day being on all my medications where I didn't feel like headachey all day. That's a good sign, I think. Oh my God, also, you guys are all so nice and supportive, but sometimes it's just like that one commenter where you're just like, oh my gosh, come on. I was talking in my last video about my insomnia and I was talking about how I went off ADHD medication and then I had like the best sleep of my life. I got almost like a threat from someone. They were like, how dare you tell me to get off my ADHD meds? When did I say that? Notice on the internet, there's just been a little bit of like putting words there's been a lot of putting words into people's mouths that they've just never said. Context is so important. I was just talking about how I haven't had insomnia in a long time because when I stopped my ADHD medication, I had good sleep. That is not me saying that you should quit your ADHD medication. ADHD medication was incredible and amazing for me. The only reason I had to get off of it, which I never even talked about online, was not even for my sleep. That was just something that benefited me, but it was because of my health issues, I have fainting and heart rate issues and they were brought out by ADHD medications because they are stimulants. Mentally, they were incredible and great for me and I really miss being on them and I wish my, I just honked accidentally. <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry if people are walking. I wish my body could take them, but they can't. But in no way was I saying that people should get off their ADHD medication. There's pros and cons to literally everything in life. I was just stating a fact, ADHD medication, just like drinking coffee, can affect your sleep. It also can't. It depends on the person. Every person is unique. My experience is not a projection on what you should and shouldn't do in your life. But I was like, what the heck? No, <laughs> I am not telling anyone to get off anything. I'm just talking about my honest experiences. As a general rule with the internet, we should just be taking everything with a grain of salt. Everyone's experiences in life are different and someone sharing what they've been through doesn't mean that it has to be your experience. So if I talk about medications and things like that, I'm just sharing my experience and that is not me telling anyone to go off or on something. I just, I don't even know how you got from A to B. Anyways, I'm gonna go. Bye bye. We have to find a place to film. For some reason she trusted me to hold this. I'm trying really hard not to drop it. I realized I never even like mentioned what I was doing today. Oh yeah. And I just kind of started filming as I tend to do. So I thought I would let you all know. It looks like we're like ants, like watching our like. <laughs> our wait, wait, can we pretend to do that? Yeah. Okay. Pretending Char to watch ants. Charles, make that go, honey. <laughs> Come on, Charles, the house down boots. <laughs> no. Oops, we have to be the ants. Okay. Charles, I'll get you caviar if you score that goal. Charles, it's auntie. Wait, am I British? Like, I don't, Wait, I need- Wait, did we end up actually telling them what we're doing? No. No. <laughs> we're filming a YouTube video and then some random stuff for YouTube. Ooh, ooh, YouTube what? Shorts. Shorts. Last night I looked at um, the comment on, on the transplant video. They're all so nice. They're so nice. I know, they all said they were feeling euphoric for you. I know, I know. People that follow me are just nice. Woo, come on. Come on, sports. <laughs> You're doing really well since your transplant. I'm pretty happy for you. Thank you. That's why I'm wearing this jacket that covers a lot because I have some scarring left. It's okay. But it's pretty good, honestly. You seem like you're doing I well though. Look, I think the meds are working. Yeah, 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 yeah. The meds are working. I love Midol. <laughs> Do they know that you're a supplement girl? She's a supplement girl. And it's funny because I'm Let definitely not a supplement girl. I need to not wear a bra more often. Like, I feel free. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is what our conversations are like. <laughs> Sometimes I put so much like pressure into my outfits to have the boobs perfectly lifted, not show my arms and like all these oh, yeah, things. And I think it is just like calm down. All right. Hello. We're gonna fail. Bye-bye. A little spin. No signal. <laughs> She's trying to upload a TikTok and there's no signal, so she needs those bars. My best friend's trans. Of course I've been doing makeup 10 years longer than her and she's still better than me at it. My best friend is cis. Of course when I realized that Jessie is a boy name and a girl name, I told her it was trans coded. My best friend's trans. Of course I got her these sweatpants. And they're her favorite. My best friend is cis. Of course I feel gender euphoric when people mistake us for being a lesbian couple. My best friend's trans. Of course we joke that her pre-transition and post-transition look like a butch and femme lesbian couple. My best friend is cis. Of course we end up harmonizing together. Oh, oh my, my god, god me. me. Oh, I didn't know we were like singing it. <laughs> Hey, little stinkers and stinkies. That's Wait, the name. Happy International Rat Day. Happy International Rat Day. I've been meeting to say that to this chat, so I just wanted to I didn't to know that sure. until you said it. Mm-hmm. Very important day. We are your mothers in suits today. Today we're going out to an event, and yesterday was super stressful. Mm -hmm. It was just like a lot of stressful things. At once. Happening at once. Mm -hmm. Okay, also I went on two dates this week while in like physical pain. It's like so exhausting trying to talk to someone new and impress someone while you're literally in physical pain. First time I had a migraine, the second time I had stomach hurt from it, like so. And like, I'm rushing to get to this date. I'm super last minute. She does not seem happy about it. And 10 minutes after I sit down, I'm like, whew. And then I see this person that's just like not been nice to me in the past. And I'm like, okay, that makes me really anxious. That was a lot. So anyways, I just, got out of my room today and for this event I just had a suit on and she was also in a black suit so this was actually not planned at all. Mm -hmm. A suit is both of our go-to. I think you made suits my go-to. Oh you know what I mean? I've never worn a suit out like this because I was too afraid to because of like boy it's clothes mm. you know but now like you taught me how to like wear it and still feel feminine. Oh hi. Still feel feminine. <laughs> well you were talking I thought <laughs> oh, well, thanks. you should be on again. Oh thanks. That's great. You know listen clothes do not need to have agendas. This Cl like clothes have agenda. no agenda, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, oh. I might have just sent someone an audio message accidentally. <laughs> Who though? Who knows? Anyways, we're a little late to this little event. We don't want to miss the carpets, and I'll get all of the behind the scenes for this girl right here. Okay, we'll see you later. Slay. Okay, we look like spies, or we look like we're working security tonight. <laughs> Show me the outfit. Yes. Give me a twirl, give me a twirl. Look back. Yeah. Hello, gays, rats, pixies, and stinkies. Ugh. I went on two dates this week, which is a lot for me normally. That's a lot of like talking to people I don't usually talk to. I do still think I'm bisexual, but I think before I go on a date with any cis straight man, he needs to be super liberal. He needs to have queer friends. That is important for me. That's how I'm feeling. Literally, you could look like Chris Hemsworth, which like is not even like really my type. Too masculine for me, but whatever. You could literally be Thor, okay? If you're not an accepting person, if you don't know that part of my life and understand it or try to understand it, I'm just not into it. There needs to be some understanding because I think like I don't even really have any straight male friends. So I don't even like interact with cis straight men often. Like it's kind of hard to find things to talk about, which like I'm sure even straight girls have struggled with. Girls that just have a ton of girlfriends and then it's like, oh, like some talking to a straight guy, it's like, what do we talk about? But I think being queer is just such a huge part of my life where I just do see myself with a queer person more. I think I even have a very, for example, unconventional job. And there's just like a lot of erasing myself when I'm with straight men and it doesn't feel good. I've also dated way more women than men. 
last time I had a boyfriend uh, was when I was 18, before I came out for like three months. So don't really have a lot of experience there. I'm trying to figure it out, I'm trying to see how I feel. And that's okay, that's fine. I am probably gonna end the video here. I'm sorry if it was a little incohesive. There was a lot going on at once. My people, I love you all. I'm gonna feature your pages on the screen as well as your posts. Mwah. Love and appreciate you all. Thank you all for supporting the vlogs. This has actually meant a lot and it is really fun. So I hope you guys have been enjoying them too. They've been really fun for me. Get excited, I will continue. Also, let me know what other videos you want besides just just vlogs. Like if you want some other like fun reactions. Do you want me to react to more gay Barbie movies? That was pretty fun. <laughs> I watched like a two hour video of a YouTuber. His name's Ted watching every Barbie movie. And it was so fun. I feel like he was really into it and he had a good time. It inspired me to watch some of the Barbie movies I haven't watched. So if you want me to like do some more Barbie content on here, like that was so much fun. Love and appreciate you all. Mwah, mwah. Bye. Slides do.